Welcome to the Canadian Outback. I'm Sarah, and here we are studying a rare specimen of, of tabby cat. Just over there. Take a look. Oh, yes. Look at her. She's just left the nest. She's on the hunt. She's looking for prey. Now, I've been studying these animals for a long time. There's been a rec record of approximately only 150 tabby cats remaining around the globe, and most are only found in the wildlands of Western Canada. Oh my goodness. Shh, no, look, get a closer shot, will you? Oh, look at that female, what a beauty. She's an adult, in the prime of her life. So that means we must keep a sharp eye. Now, tabby cats are very, very unpredictable. If she were to sense we were near, she may lash out and she may attack. I better keep my distance. She's stalking off now. She's sniffing around. She smells something's out of place. What a spectacular fur cloud, hey, Billy? It's unfortunate these majestic creatures were hunted down almost to extinction, and their furs were sold all across the black market. Wait, back up a little bit, back up. Don't want to get too close to these animals. Wow, look at that. Look at that tail. What a fine, fine creature. Oh, fiddlesticks. She's looking up. Oh, she senses someone's near. Oh, it's okay. She's wandering farther away. We're all right. We're all right. Billy, dim the light, Billy. No one will keep it too light. All right. Now, these creatures are very, very territorial. If we were to get too close, she would lash out, right? So, I'm going to attempt. I'm going to attempt to get close closer look. Keep an eye, will you? studying cat tabby cats in the wild for centuries now and let me tell you I got a permanent scar all down my arm from when a cat bit me she slashed at me she slashed at me with her fangs don't oh, know she didn't bite me don't worry but if she did bite me that would be very bad because um, they have venom in their teeth so when they bite you they release a toxic ooze down into your white blood cells and they attack they attack your body and, and the first symptoms are uh, shivering uh, you break out in hives all down your body, and sometimes you can even foam with the mouth until you pass out and literally, literally petrify and die. That's how it happens. It's, it usually only takes about an hour for it to happen. So I gotta really, really, really be careful this time because that was a close call. A very close call. Yes. Oh man, all right, it's getting dark. So the worst thing we can do right now is stay past our welcome now. Right now she's feeding. She's uh, got a young opossum in her paws right now. She's just ripping it apart. I don't know if you can get a good shot of that, but zoom in a bit. I'm gonna get my flashlight. It's getting a little bit late. You can see a little bit more. But the worst thing about being in the dark is that other creatures, other creatures can come out One's even more despised than the rare tabby cats. Now coyotes have been spotted all over around these parts. People are in their homes afraid to leave because the, because the coyotes attack them with licks and spit at them, chasing them all down the street. Rather annoying if you ask me. All right, now we've got to prepare the tracker. Now Mark, he's gonna, he's gonna do the traps right now. So he's setting some traps to lure her in. Now I've got this uh, tracker here. It looks pretty much like a collar. But it's got a small camera right here. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty microscopic. But it works, does the same thing. So we're going to uh, get up close and I'm going to attempt to put this on her. But first, we've got to wait for till she's in that traps. Now, it looks like she's in the right region that we need her to be. Mark, good job. Now, most of the time, I'd be pretty freaked out right now. But I have a good team behind me supporting me. So if anything should happen, I've got them. They've got my back. So I don't have to worry too much about what's going to happen. All right, Billy, let's go. Right, 
approaching the specimen. There she is, there she is. We actually caught this cat outside of somebody's home, which is very rare. That usually never happens, but she's an adult female and she's pretty strong and powerful, so she doesn't really get freaked out by things like that. Got to wrangle her somehow. It seems the traps didn't really work. That's all right. It's okay. I've just got to get up close. Come here, Kenny. I've got to be very careful now. Get it when she gets. She's got to guard down. Make sure she's not going to attack. Oh, she wants to go inside someone's home. That's pretty funny. All right. All right. Now I need you to throw a rock over there, Mark. To distract, distract her attention for a minute, please. All right, all right, and here we go. Oh my goodness. And it's on. Back up, back up. Get out of there, get out of there. We're going to evade the situation. All right, all right. All right, we got it on. Good work, team, good work. I can't believe it. We only had one more night to accomplish this, and we did it. Me and my team. Whew, what great guys, hey? All right, so that's all for now, folks. We'll show you once the documentary's done and everything's settled, but we got some good stuff to work with, and we just caught our first tabby cat. Only one out of 150 left in the world. It's amazing, it is. Western Canada, and there's no place quite like it, you know? Oh, goodness. Wow. That's a wrap. Thanks, guys. See you later, and keep calm and carry on. <laughs>